hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been so long since we just like had a talk you know i haven't vlogged in so long i'm still working from home so i just like haven't really been feeling like i had the time to do so but yeah i don't know something just got into me that i just felt like vlogging right now so here we go Today I got this giant package from my office. Basically it has a keyboard, a mouse, and a dock, and just all sorts of things since obviously we're going to be working from home for quite a bit. My office was kind enough to send these supplies to us, so I'm going to set that up later. <laughs> this is my current workstation. I don't have like a desk desk in my room. I have a vanity that I just kind of work at, and you know, for what I used to do, that's fine, but working from home all day long, it's just kind of like not my favorite thing ever. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of like a mess. It's like a makeup space, an eating space, a workspace. Um, recently I've just been using my personal laptop and my work laptop for my dual screen situation. So really happy about this monitor right now. Yeah, my chair sometimes gets uncomfortable when I'm wearing shorts. So I like to put a little blanket on there so I'm not cold. But this is like the current situation that we're dealing with. I literally cannot wait to... <laughs> put this monitor up i feel like i really just need it so badly i think after work today i'm gonna try and tackle this room as you could see it's like a little bit messy mess um yeah definitely need to address this whole situation <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys see how everyone is feeling and do a little vlog i please this is what i look like when i work i literally wear my pajamas i don't know if you guys are the type to like get dressed in the morning but i literally just wear pajamas all day i don't even want to say that i didn't think it was going to go on this long because i kind of did but it's just like i feel like in the beginning everyone was like here's my workout routine and here's my my day at home routine and now it's just kind of like y'all still working out y'all still doing all that like ugh. i'm literally sitting here eating cookies so <laughs> like you know what i mean i'm doing something that's like pretty simple i like to listen to music because it just really keeps me motivated and just like ready to work i feel like when i just sit here without music i just get so bored i know some people can't work with music it really depends on the task that i'm doing yeah right now it's about like six o'clock my work hours i feel like have definitely fluctuated since working from home um i used to get into the office pretty sharply at 9 a.m because i had a pretty long commute so it's like i had to wake up at a certain time to get there at a certain time so i would always just make sure that i was up but now i kind of start my day a little bit later <laughs> In the beginning i found myself taking a lunch break but now i don't really do that i kind of work in intervals i'll i work in like a reward system i'll literally do a task and i'm like let me reward myself with 15 minutes of tiktok or whatever i want to do or maybe like 30 minutes to make lunch or something like that but i kind of just work in intervals so because i work like that now since i just get so bored sitting in my room it makes my work day a little bit longer so i find that i'm working till like 7 7 30 sometimes 8 just because i am taking more breaks let me know what you guys have been doing, but I basically will just get something done. If I feel like I need a break, I'll just give myself like a quick 15 minutes, but all these little breaks add up. So in order to make sure that I'm getting all my projects done and staying on task, I really need to make sure that I am like working a little bit later um, just because I am taking so many more breaks now, but I kind of need to just to stay sane because I'm basically like living in this box all day long. I've noticed that I don't really have a way to de-stress myself after work anymore because it's not relaxing for me to be in my room any longer. I don't know if you guys are experiencing that as well, but when I used to get home from New York after a long day, I'd take a shower and I would just come to my room and I felt like the most at peace, but I just don't feel that way anymore now that I'm like in here constantly. So yeah, basically I'm just going to finish up this project and if you guys don't know like the field of work that i'm in i work in public relations this is the place that i had my internship at right after college and i was fortunate enough to end up getting hired eventually and i'm so grateful for that because i really feel like i've learned and evolved so much within the span of a year and i just feel really lucky that i didn't have to work in a field that wasn't what i necessarily wanted to be doing until i could get my dream job so i do feel really blessed for that but I have to admit i do miss the actual office and i do miss all my co-workers i'm very introverted so i don't really talk a lot when i'm in the office but now that i'm out of the office i'm just like oh my gosh like being in the office is so much better
Hello. I don't want to say that I am done with work for the day, but I am taking one of those mini breaks that we talked about, just like a little cleaning interval. I want to clean up my room a little bit. It's a little gross. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to say. I just want to clean my room, so let's get into it. outside who were talking stuff in front of my house like some like friends or something and they're like social distance and talking this guy is talking so loud how does anyone talk that loud can you go away can you go away yeah this isn't sponsored or anything i bought all this stuff with my own money like funny that i even need to say that but yeah let's just go ahead and open this up this first thing i purchased is from poshmark i don't really ever purchase things on poshmark i normally am someone who sells i have purchased a handful of things here and there but i'm like very very picky with it okay this is like a little bit more yellow than i had originally anticipated i really thought this was going to be like a bright neon green and it's totally not and she didn't even include a thank you know like whatever anyway i do when you shop with me but it's basically a Ralph Lauren sweater. Yeah, I want to like DIY it, which is like hilarious to me because I don't know how to sew or do anything of the nature. Okay, basically there's a little white stain right on the sleeve. I'm not sure what this is about. But my idea with this, it's like a snot color. I thought it was like a lime green. Ugh. Okay, anyway, I picked this sweater up for like $13. This is just like what it looks like. My thought process here is I'm going to tie dye it and then I want to cut this part of the fabric, crop the sweater and then sew this part back on. It was like $13 for this with shipping included so I just figured like why not just try a little DIY. The next thing that I purchased is a going away bag but basically kind of like a duffel weekender bag. I did a lot of research before I purchased a bag because I'm the type of person when I purchase something I like it to be investment so i don't have to purchase it again just for context i'm gonna grab this little <laughs> duffel bag that i have been using for like any sleepover trips etc that i've been taking since i was in high school this is literally my high school varsity cheerleading bag this is like the bag that i would put my pom-poms in when i spend my money especially on something like this i want to make sure that it's going to last a while and that I'm really gonna get good use out of it. Like this bag I got really good use out of and I used it for years and it's still in really great condition. So I really do take care of investments like this and I really make sure that when I'm purchasing something this expensive that I take good care of it. That being said, I really needed a new weekender bag because this thing is a little bit too small. I'm a huge overpacker and I found myself bringing like this and like two other bags and I'm like, I literally can't carry all this. Like I just want one bag. It's just so ridiculous. This bag comes in this giant drawstring bag. Really, really nice. It's this huge duster bag. So let's open this duster bag up. Alrighty. So this is already way bigger which like i mentioned i needed a bag with way more space i got mine embroidered which honestly i mainly did that just in case i ever bring this to like an airport or something not that i'm planning a trip anytime soon but i mainly did this just because i want to make sure that if someone has the same bag because away is a pretty popular company especially for travel i just want to make sure that my name is on it so i know that it's mine use a strap or you could carry it by this Honestly, this is like half the reason that I was sold. This is literally a laptop case. Like this is designed to be a laptop case, which is so convenient because it's like, how do you travel anywhere without your laptop? And then once I saw this pocket, I literally was like, okay, I'm buying it like period the end. This pocket is literally for shoes. I always put my shoes in like a Lululemon bag and then I'll pack it on top of my clothes because I don't like my dirty shoes to be touching my clean clothes. Yeah, so that was just like a really quick look at this bag, but I'm actually extremely happy that I purchased this good morning everyone well actually it's probably more like a good afternoon considering the time of day that it is right now but hello i am currently working right now i just had a little like 
it was like an event, but it was online. Um, it was actually pretty interesting. I That was like my first time experiencing something like that. And it was pretty cool the way that they had set it up. But yeah, I just did that in the morning. And as I was listening, I kind of like cleaned up my room a little bit. So I was able to make my bed and I wasn't able to set up my monitor like I had wanted. And clearly there's still a lot of negative energy going on around here because we have to clean this all up. But yeah, I'm ready to get back to my regular work. I have my little oatmeal and my banana. And I just made some iced green tea. I would just like to say that these are from when I actually was working in the office. I know it's kind of wasteful to be using like a one time use plastic when I'm not in the office, but I already had them. So I just wanted to say that. So yeah, I'm gonna get working a little bit. And then after I do a little bit of work, and I take another break. I'm hoping that I could finish cleaning this up. I'm running some laundry right now. I actually changed out my sheets. I put on my white sheets instead of my gray sheets and I'm gonna wash my gray sheets. So yeah, things are, things are looking up. Things are looking a little crazy, <laughs> but they're looking up. So just wanted to give you that little update and I'll check back in with you later. Okay, so I'm eating <laughs> lunch. Um, my dad made rice and then he made like some sort of bean concoction. So I just added steak and cheese and salsa to it. It's actually really good. Mm. Kind of reminds me of like a at home Chipotle situation. But I just got this package from Target with the books that I ordered. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage it. Okay, so these are the three books I got. The first one is called Love the One You're With. This is by Emily Giffen. And then this is another Emily Giffen book and I did not mean to pick up two books by the same author, it just kind of happened that way. These are perfect books for someone in their 20s, a lot of questions about love, um, relationships, moving to big cities or being in a big city. And I feel like that is all pretty prominent. And I feel like all those themes are pretty prominent in my life right now. I will say that these books came like a little bit damaged, which honestly is kind of upsetting. Like if you could see right there, it's kind of just like the corners all tucked in, but I mean, that's okay. If you guys are interested, I am going to be reading these over the course of the month and I'll keep you guys posted on if I like them, if you guys are interested. But yeah, I just wanted to do that quick little unboxing with these books. And I'm excited to read them. I don't know which one I'm gonna read first, but I think I'm gonna read this one first. So, yeah. Hello, it is nearing the end of the work day. I have a few other projects that I'd like to finish up before the end of the day, but um, I'm kind of getting sick of like sitting down. I normally like, I work here predominantly, but sometimes I'll like go in my bed when I just feel like lying down or other times I'll make my little stand-up desk. I don't know how this is gonna work once I put my monitor here. Kind of just the setup that I have going on. It's literally, I put my laptops on top of this Dyson vacuum box. I wish I was lying, but fortunately I'm like short enough where my standing level is fine like this, but it's absolutely ridiculous and just like so funny what our working conditions have um, turned into. I'm really excited though because I just ordered Popeyes. I've never tried Popeyes period, point blank, but I really wanted to try the chicken sandwich. I'm just like craving a chicken sandwich right now and I don't have a Chick-fil-A like anywhere close enough to me to get it delivered. So I got the Popeyes delivered. Um, that was such a process. Literally my dog ran out of the front door I was like running laps, having the time of her life. I'm like, there's literal cars, what are you doing? I'm very excited because I got my food. It seems to be, I wonder if this is the right order, honestly, because this seems to be more food than I ordered. I didn't order two sandwiches. Um, are these fries? Okay, and these are fries. This is crazy. I wish I got one classic one spicy, but I'm not gonna complain for extra sandwiches. Okay, so yeah, I had ordered, like I wonder if I ordered two sandwiches, like there's no way I did that, right? I don't know. It was too inexpensive for that to be the case. There's no way. It was like $12 with delivery and tip, like I would be concerned. Yeah, no, I only ordered one sandwich. Okay, so uh, I feel bad. 
I feel bad because someone's order is probably messed up. Ah, okay, I'm stressed out. Anyway, so I ordered Popeyes and I've never even had Popeyes before. This is my first time even trying it. Um, not that I don't eat fast food because I definitely do, but Popeyes, there was never a location by me. They honestly just recently built one and this chicken sandwich is like, supposed to be like the best thing ever so i'm really excited to try this i know i'm very very late on this but like i said i didn't have a location by me and when everything was going on like when it first came out i didn't even want to go to try it because i just knew that the line would always be so long so it looks like there's pickles on here some mayo looks like cheese i didn't order cheese i don't know if it comes like that i'm not sure this is my order um <laughs> yeah so this is what it looks like it looks like a really, really like thick, nice piece of chicken. And yeah, I'm just gonna give it a go. It's definitely really good. Like, don't get me wrong. It's definitely really good. But it's nowhere as good as people were making it seem. I wish I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich so I could like outright compare. It's good. It's good. It's a chicken sandwich. I'm not mad at it. I'm really happy I got this. It's really satisfying my craving. I really want a chicken sandwich. This is good. I would definitely give this sandwich an 8 out of 10. It's really good. I think it would have got a higher rating if I didn't hear so many good things about it. Because honestly, like, the things that I had heard about the sandwich just, like, it would change your life. So my expectations were really high. So I think because I had such high expectations... Not that I was disappointed because it's very good, but it didn't live up to the hype in my opinion. Now, these are the Cajun fries. I've never tried these before. These are definitely good too. These are really good. I will just say they're like a little, not soggy. They're like a little soggy just because I got them delivered so they wouldn't be as fresh if I went through the drive through myself. But can't complain. I got food hand delivered to my front step, so what do I have to complain about? Overall, I think the sandwich is really, really good. Every time I pass by my Popeyes, I see the line and it is literally like wrapped around. And people definitely wait there for like upwards of 30 minutes to maybe even an hour for the sandwich, still, even after <laughs> all this hype. Um, I think it was really good. I don't think it changed my life. I will definitely get it again. I just wanted to show you guys my little monitor setup really quick. This is what my vanity slash workspace is looking like right now. My dad was like super, super helpful and helped me put all this together. So shout out to him. Um, my company sent me the monitor and the stand, but we needed that little box that you see back there to connect my Mac to the monitor. And luckily my dad had that. So super, super convenient. It's kind of hard to like put all this stuff on this desk like <laughs> I just have all my makeup and stuff over here and I had it spread out before between both the sides but yeah that is just what we're looking like. I cleaned up my room a little bit I know you could <laughs> hardly tell but I did some laundry earlier and I put it all away. I still have this tiny mess <laughs> working right here but you know things are happening. I'm about to hop in the shower just to like end the night and then I'm gonna read a book. I don't know which one I'm gonna read yet, but I think I'm gonna read this one first. Hop in the shower and then I'm gonna read my book just to wind down for the night, but you know, the bun is coming out. It's time to shower and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone. I have not really been able to vlog today. I've been actually really, really busy at work today. Really happy that I have my monitor for such a busy day. 
but I like wanted a break from my room. I just wanted to break up the space. So I went outside to do a little work. I was getting bit up by mosquitoes, bit up by mosquitoes. Look at this. Are you, sir? What? Who, who, how, what? That's not even the end of it. Look at this. Excuse me? What? Are you, really? I honestly wish I was kidding, but I think I was out there for 15 minutes and I have like four bites. So I decided to go inside and I'm sitting on my couch doing my work and I could swear to God there's a bug on my head. And I'm like touching and I'm like, ugh, there's a bug on me. But I was like, no, I'm just like freaking out because like, whatever. No, no, there's a giant bug on me, a literally a giant bug. I flick it out and I'm like, oh my God. Basically, I don't know who came up with the great outdoors. Doesn't seem that great to me. I went out for two seconds. I have a million mosquito bites and I had a bug in my hair. What? Ah! What the hell? This is the biggest spider web ever. Literally what? My sister's boyfriend just Okay, literally that spider web was so serious. I like wish you guys could have seen it a little bit better, but it was so spooky. I'm picking up food right now. I know I didn't like specify that, but I'm picking up food. I have been really good about eating at home, but these past few days, I don't know what has gone into me. I've just been like really in the mood to eat out. So whatever, I'm getting one of my favorite places ever. It's actually mad, mad good. I'm really excited to eat it. But they close at nine and it's like 8.30, so I kind of just want to go in and grab it. Of course, I'm gonna put on my mask. I've been using the medical grade ones. I know a lot of people have been buying like cloth ones, but I honestly don't like the way that those feel. I feel like I have a really hard time breathing through those. So I really like these and I kind of like tend to reuse them as much as I can until like I just feel like I cannot anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up my food. I just can't believe that spider web because honestly like I was just in the mood to like listen to ribs and drive, you know what I mean? Like you definitely know what I mean if you know what I mean. And I feel like that moment was like taken away from me, not to be dramatic. And I'm having a lot of run-ins with bugs right now and it's giving me the creeps. Anyway, I'm gonna go get my food. Okay, I just picked up my food. I just put on my little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This one smells so bad. It's like so strong. It smelled, it smells like I don't know, it's just very overpowering. What is called Cactus Blossom. I don't recommend it, but that's what we are working with here today. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just so nervous about that spider web still. I know that that's like kind of dramatic, but honestly, when there's a spider web, there's a spider. If anything has ever taught me anything, that's what I know. Now, I need to put together the perfect playlist for my drive home. I am just in such a like ribs mood. I need another song that makes me feel that way. What are you talking about? What the heck? <laughs> we should have carpooled. Are you guys? Are you guys following me? Have fun. Be safe. Love you. Okay, my sister. Like, small town vibes. My sister just pulled into the parking lot. Her boyfriend pulled up in the spider web. Was, like, what? We left the house at the same exact time. They drove here together. Honestly, I need to drive my own car, though. They're doing their own thing, whatever. But I need to drive my car because, quite frankly, my battery died because I haven't been driving my car. So, yeah. But that's just so random. Small town vibes, bro. Anyway, I'm gonna go listen to All Too Well. So this is my current situation. I am about to watch TV on my laptop. I just always watch TV on my laptop. Cause I don't have a TV in my room. And then this is my food. It's so good. It's ribs, a little corn muffin, corn and mac and cheese. <laughs> Probably not like the healthiest alternative, but literally so good. I legit put this blanket down because I have white sheets. Never mind my stuffed animal. Thank you. But yeah. 
I'm really excited to dig in and just eat. Also, peep my pajamas. They have these little dogs on it. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat and watch some TV and just relax. Honestly, I know it's only Thursday and I still have Friday, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's like a good place to end it. <laughs> Me just peacefully eating my meal. It's literally so late. I'm eating dinner so late. Like, oh. Yeah, I know this vlog may have been like a little boring because I don't have like a lot going on right now, but honestly, I'm really big into like romanticizing your life and just thinking like you are living your best life, even if like maybe you're not, but I don't know, like this is my life and like just because I'm not like chasing sunsets and doing crazy stuff doesn't mean like it's not cool. I <laughs> am an introvert, so I mean, I like staying home and I'm not like the other girls, I'm quirky, but like you guys know what I mean like I don't know I just feel like I just feel like during this time to like slow down you could really just stop and like appreciate the little things like eating a good meal watching a good show reading a good book getting a mosquito bite or three but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night or day or whatever whenever you're watching this and yeah I'm gonna go eat my food and enjoy my show bye guys